Hey, what's up? Brad at Tension here. This is the first of a two-part series. This video will focus on theory, and the second video will focus on practical application. We've got a lot to cover, so let's jump right in. In a perfect world, shade would fall directly below a sail or structure. Unfortunately, in the real world, it doesn't work that way. Anyway, there are three factors that affect where a shadow will fall. They are time of day, latitude, and the Earth's tilt. The first factor is time of day. This green line represents the sun's daily path through the sky. It rises in the east, travels across the sky, and sets in the west. Notice that throughout the day, the shadow moves from west to east. The second factor is latitude. Latitude measures a location's distance from the equator. On this map, the equator is here. These lines running parallel to the equator are lines of latitude. This green line from earlier only represents the sun's path through the sky at the equator. As your latitude changes, the line moves away from being vertical and angles down toward the horizon. Your latitude affects the sun's path through the sky. It also affects how far your shadow will stretch away from you. I haven't put you to sleep yet, have I? Good, let's keep going. The third factor is tilt. This is where things get a little more complex. Have you ever noticed how a globe's base makes the Earth lean a bit? That's because the Earth is tilted on its axis. This tilt gives us the seasons and affects the sun's path through the sky throughout the year. Let me show you. Here's the Earth. The equator runs right across the middle and creates the northern and southern hemispheres. Now, let's make sure it's tilted. We zoom back and here's the sun. The Earth orbits the sun like this. Each trip around the sun is one year. Notice that the Earth is always tilted in the same direction. When the Earth is in this position, the Earth is tilted toward the sun and the northern hemisphere is getting more direct sunlight. Up here it's summer and down here it's winter. Six months later, the Earth will be here and it will be tilted away from the sun and the southern hemisphere is getting more direct sunlight. Down here it's summer and up here is winter. The main takeaway here is that the angle of the sun's light will change from summer to winter. In summer, it comes more from above. In winter, it comes more from the side. Here's what this means for a person on the ground. I'll bring these illustrations back. Now, we'll add the path of the sun in the middle of winter and in the middle of summer. We'll ignore the location at the equator and focus on our location to the north. The sun will be at the highest in the sky in the middle of summer and shadows will be closest to under the object casting the shadow. In the middle of winter, the sun will always come from a lower angle and shadows will stretch away from an object. Hey, we made it through all three factors. Okay, I know we've covered a bunch today, so before we finish, I wanna recap real quick. The three factors that affect where a shadow will fall are the time of day, the latitude, and the Earth's tilt. Make sure to catch part two of this series for the practical application of this information and what that means for shade sail placement. See you then.